Good morning, everyone. God bless you on this, what, Thursday? Yes, it's Thursday. Hi, Michael, honey. Look, I am sorry I haven't been on here. I am trying to get back on here. It has been over 100 degrees here in Texas, and it affects everything. My telephone, my computer, everything. Anyway, I want to get on here and tell you that I love you. I know a lot of people have contacted me. God bless you, worrying if I'm all right, if something's wrong. It's just been extremely hot, and everything is just freezing up. My phone is freezing up. Yeah, things have been going on. We're get, we are in the last days, actually, not getting there. We're in the last days, and things have been going on. The devil is attacking me, which I praise God for because... Brothers and sisters, when the devil's attacking you, know that you're in the will of God. Yeah, forgive the way I look, guys. It's like 5 a.m. and I just wanted to get on here because I love you all. David and Michael, Gary, all of you, Irene, have been asking about me and sending me emails or sending me messages and messenger. I, could, I cannot, when it gets hot, I cannot answer any messages on messenger the phone totally freezes my home computer will let me once in a while post something but that's it so i've gotten really behind on the lessons i've gotten really behind on everything absolutely everything we've been having a bit of trouble around our neighborhood the lord says that perilous times will come boy i'm what is going on with this <laughs> and I just woke up, so don't pay any attention to the way I look, guys. But I love you. Yeah, there have been gunshots, like constant gunshots in my neighborhood. You go to bed, you hear gunshots. You wake up, you hear gunshots. There's robberies. There's just all kind of lawlessness going around. Of course, God told us to, or Yehovah told us to expect it. And there's been a lot of heartbreak, as those of you close to me know. Some people that I truly love seem to have turned from the faith. And just like the Lord says, they're following doctrines of demons. But we can't let that stop us. And I know you too, Michael, have had this problem. Where people that you have tried to reach and you've cared about, and they've been your friends and you've tried to lead them to Christ, and you've tried to teach them to go in the right directions and obey the Lord, and they're into this greasy grace, soft gospel, which I'm pretty sure makes the Lord want to vomit. Jesus gave his life, and these people are out there preaching you can do what you want and make heaven, and half these people are going to split hell wide open, and that's the sad thing. I am not a Calvinist, let me make that clear. Calvinists believe that we have no choice to choose Jesus Christ. That from the time a person was born, God decided this person will be saved, this person is going to hell. That is, a, that is just terrible. And I believe it gets very close, very close to the unpardonable sin, blaspheming the Holy Spirit. It is just ridiculous. It, it takes hope away from those that God is trying to reach. And I really, it just, I'm, we'll get into that later because this is a very serious issue that's going around in the church. And these people are just taking the hope away from people. The very reason that Yeshua died on the cross and rose from the grave and sent out believers and told us to take the gospel around the world and to preach to every living creature. Because everyone has the chance to be saved because Yeshua, Jesus' precious blood, is so powerful that it can save the worst sinner. Anyway, I'll be on a little bit. I just want to, I've got to, like I said, forgive the way I look. I know I look silly this morning. I just got back. I had to take my son to work. I just got back and I look terrible and it has been so hot, you have no idea. It is so hot in this house. Everyone's going through the same thing. Most of the people end up sitting on their porches because even though it could be 102, the heat index, which is what it feels like to your body, has been like 112. So it is crazy. But we're going to get back into this teaching. The devil has done everything he can to sidetrack me, 
to try to keep me from doing the videos, to try to keep me from spreading the word of God. But any of you that know me, ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. I have been betrayed by those I love. I have had things coming against my children. Even, I mean, it's just, we'll get into that later. But you know what? The Lord told us it was going to happen. And the devil is doing everything. But greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. And the same with you. I love you. And I'll be back on here. I really will. I really will. I am praying over this telephone, over this computer. God's will be done. The devil's not holding me down. I love you guys. Bye-bye.